This is Matt Rausch, Technology Editor at WWJ News Radio 950. I'm here at our studios in Southfield today with Peter George. He's a Vice President of Parrot, which is a, uh, a French um, car uh, stereo and other car connectivity uh, company with an office here in Southfield, which it uh, deals with the uh, Detroit 3. We're talking today about a new product from Parrot uh, that's going to be launching in October. Peter, why don't you tell us uh, what it is and what it does? Sure, Matt, thank you. We've got the Parrot Asteroid, which is uh, the world's first Android-controlled uh, car stereo slash receiver that also adds internet connectivity to the car now. Okay. So it's, it's a great little product. Um, the, Astro uh, the Asteroid, which is called as I said, Android-based operating system, that gives us access to web applications and web services okay. and via its internet connection that we've never had before in the car environment. All right, what are some of the applications that you're launching with? Okay, so we'll launch with six applications. We've got a, a, a mapping applications, road trip, which is an itinerary planning applications, internet radio, we can go, a speed uh, camera and speed red light camera detector, weather and text friendly and all of those will be available when we launch the product in October. Well, let's take a look at maps. I, I thought that was pretty neat. Sure. So the maps uh, application, we just go through the menu here and start the application here. So uh, it's powered on the Google Maps system. You can zoom in and out and you can see via our internet connection now it's updating. As we press the search function, we can go in and see some local places of interest. So let's say we want to make a restaurant reservation. We'll go down to the restaurants category click OK and it's going to take a few seconds uh, to find uh, the available local restaurants but it's going to give us a listing of all the restaurants around our local area right now. It's using the uh, built-in GPS locator to determine that. Okay so the unit comes with a GPS locator that will go in the car. That's correct. Alright and that will uh, give you what you need in terms of Google Maps. <laughs> All right. Well, this did come up quicker before, I can assure the viewers here, uh, when we were looking for coffee shops. Uh, maybe there are more restaurants in this area, and that's the deal. So, And we are, uh, because we're indoors and not using the GPS, this is a uh, demonstration, in, and we're in London, England right now, okay. right? Uh, that was a little, we are in London, England. That was a little bit slower because I was streaming Pandora from my connected internet device just ah, then. Okay. So that might help answer. But we can zoom in and out on the map and then we can flick through the different options. Okay. Let's go back to the Ivy. I think that sounds like it could be a, uh, a good feed. So we click onto that briefly. We've got the address and the phone number. I could click on the phone number right now and make a reservation. I can go down and plot the directions on a map and that uh, will enable us to get there. Okay. So that's the mapping application. The second application that works in a similar way is called Road Trip. So if we would go in the road trip application, to start off with, you'll see a similar initial screen. Mm -hmm. You've got a bunch of places of interest having come up. But the difference with road trip is it's very much uh, based around tourist locations. Okay. So it's going to give you local sites of interest, places you want to go, places you want to see, whether they be historic or current. Once again, you flick through the different locations. Piccadilly Circus well, looks like a good one. So let's go to Piccadilly Circus. We're in London. We've okay. got to see that. So we click on our summary. We've got a Wikipedia link that will give you a couple of paragraphs on the location. Okay. We get out of that. We click down to Photos. It's going to give us a couple of photos on the location as well. So we can really check it out, plan our itinerary, and then go and visit the local tourist sites. It's a great little application. Okay. The third application I'm going to show you quickly is what's called TuneIn Internet Radio. So TuneIn is a great little application that gives you access to over 50,000 different radio stations from around the world. So you can do a search via country, via genre, via region. You can access talkback radio. You can access scanning radio, different things like that. And just by uh, either browsing or then selecting your presets that you previously saved. All right. You're straight into one of those uh, internet radio stations. And, and you've got several options for getting uh, internet connectivity into this radio, right? Why don't you tell That's me what That's correct. Those are We're currently tethering back to my smartphone. Mm -hmm. uh, we can set up a tethering connection with uh, any smartphone. Okay. Uh, but the other thing we can do is we can directly plug in a 3G USB dongle to the device. So and if you have one of those cell phone dongles that you want to dedicate to your car, you can do it that way too, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Or if you're a business user, you've probably got one in your, your laptop bag anyway. So right. just pull that one out 
plug that in immediately you can start uh, accessing the internet services. Okay, and this is uh, the phone itself. You can see it's quite small. Why don't you turn that around and show us the back there where all the connections are. Okay, so you've got a 3.2 inch uh, a screen, TFT screen on the front, a con removable control pad. Yep. On the back you've got a lot of connectivity. You've got four USB, two sets of RCA outs, a third set of RCA outs coming from the uh, power connector, yeah. uh, steering wheel controls, stereo uh, antenna, uh, microphone input, three and a half mil jack input as well. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, quite compact in terms of the overall fit. Yep. And uh, these will be available when? Uh, we're launching in October, okay. and uh, you'll have the six applications at launch. But don't forget through that Android operating system and that open source platform, there's going to be a lot of additional applications that we envisage coming moving forward. And so, you have released a software developer kit for this. Yeah, right we released now. that just last week. So, you know, we're going to see a lot of uh, additional applications. You're future proofing yourself in terms of your car environment and you've got access to the internet. So, it's, uh, as I said earlier, it's a world's first. And what's the price? When will this, or where will this be available? It'll be available uh, from Amazon.com, Crutchfield. Fry's Car Toys and many other leading outlets at $349. Wow, okay. Thanks very much, Peter George, Vice President of Parrot, bringing the internet to the car. Uh, absolutely, completely. This is Matt Rausch, Technology Editor, WWJ News Radio 950.